Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to talk about the top five tips, in my opinion, for new preppers. Stick around. Hey guys, I'm in the garage. It's winter. It's uh, oh, about 38 degrees outside and it's about 45 in the garage. I just turned the buddy heater on. Anyway, uh, welcome to the channel. Um, just wanted to go over, in my opinion, the top five tips uh, if you're just getting into prepping. Chances are if you're watching this video, you're into prepping uh, or browsing prepping videos and you stumbled across this one. And uh, let's talk about it. Let's jump right in. And I have some notes over here. I'm going to reference while I'm doing this because I'm not bright enough to remember all this stuff. All right, let's jump right in. Top uh, number one, acquire knowledge and practice and train with that knowledge, whether it's weapons, uh, water purification, fire making, uh, long-term food storage, camping, hunting, self-reliance, um, gear, gadgets, plenty of videos of that on YouTube. Um, but you also can't buy, well you can, but I wouldn't go out and buy a hundred dollar knife when you don't have any water storage. And that kind of brings me to number two, which is keep focused and create a budget. If you watch a lot of YouTube videos, especially in the prepping community, there's a lot of channels out there that are just doom and gloom. And you think by watching these videos, the world's going to end tomorrow. And the world may end tomorrow, we don't know. But chances are you're going to have some time to prepare. So keep focused and kind of stay away from those videos that the world is ending, oh my god, you gotta do this today, you gotta buy this product today. Some of these channels are selling products. Uh, some of them just are out there to get a lot of views, to generate a lot of conspiracy theories. And I'm not knocking the conspiracy theories, I'm sure there's some truth to some of that stuff, but if you wanna stay focused, you don't wanna watch a lot of those videos, and if you do, it's just for entertainment purposes, in my opinion, uh, stay focused on what you're doing. Um, and making a budget is, is huge, uh, especially if you're married, <laughs> uh, and stick to that budget because you can't buy all this stuff in, in, in a couple days. So make a budget and stick to that budget. And, um, I think that if you do that and you have a talk with your spouse and set that dollar limit, whatever it is, you know, even if it's, you know, 20 bucks a month, well then you need go out and you buy $10 worth of food and $10 worth of water or $20 gadget, whatever you want to do to spend your money, just make that budget and stick to it. Number three is get a water filter or learn how to purify water or store water. Water's huge. And there's a lot of great products out on the market uh, by Sawyer or Berkey that do these things. Um, actually, there is a video I'm probably going to put in the description box below from Kgoat, who has a great video and did a lot of research on this subject. And I'll actually put that uh, link to his video below. But anyway, water storage, purification, uh, finding ways to do that, knowing how to do that, we're having a lot of water stored up is really essential. Number four, buy foods that you eat and rotate those foods. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you want to use the FIFO method. First in, first out. Um, what I do, uh, which helps me a lot, is I actually put expiration dates on my cans. And when I put them on the shelf, I know the expiration date because it's on the can in like a black marker and I face that to the front of the shelf and then when I get new product I'll stack that behind it 
or in a different area and I know what to use first. That way you're not wasting money. So if you've never eaten pinto beans before, don't go out and buy pinto beans just because you watched a few YouTube videos and everybody says pinto beans are great. If you've never eaten pinto beans, don't buy pinto beans unless you try them and like them or learn how to prepare them that you like them. Uh, same thing with rice, beans, uh, whatever you're storing. Also, learning how to do long-term food storage. Thousands, thousands of videos on YouTube. How to do that with Mylar bags. And probably a really good investment, in my opinion, is buying a food saver. Um, that will prolong a lot of the food that you store. Um, and storing those sealed vacuum bags in buckets is a great idea. And it is cold out here. Okay. And the last tip that I have for you, uh, number five, is to get organized and make lists and set goals. So I'm a huge list maker. And that way you know what your budget is that month, you can make a list of things that you need. The other tip that I have, which isn't a numbered tip, but this is part of getting organized, is I highly recommend uh, opening an Amazon account. And even if you don't buy things off of Amazon, they have an option where you can make a wish list. And if you're watching a really cool video on YouTube and you see this really cool stove that you think would be a good investment for you, then you can put that model number stove in the search part of the Amazon field and chances are it'll be there. And then you can add that to your wish list. And then when you get the money and you feel that that stove is a good investment at that time, buy the stove. Um, and that way you have a wish list of all these different items that you have um, without actually making a list. Uh, the list is right there for you on Amazon. Also, maybe even buying a label maker can be helpful. Um, and if a label maker is out of your budget, roll a duct tape and a permanent marker will do. Um, buying five gallon buckets, food safe buckets, whatever, there's a lot of uh, ways to get free buckets from bakeries, uh, restaurants, pickle buckets, and actually Home Depot buckets brand new. I store a lot of my long, -tour, uh, long term food storage in those as well. Um, and if you need shelving, go to Craigslist. You can find all kinds of shelving on Craigslist. People are getting rid of shelving all the time, so look on Craigslist, and not just for shelving, other things too. You can search camping, whatever, and you can find a lot of good things off Craigslist for cheap. So those are my top five tips. Acquire knowledge, practice and train. Keep focused, create a budget. Get a water filter or learn how to purify water, buy foods that you eat and rotate those foods, and get organized and make lists and set goals. I hope this helps guys because when I first got started into prepping, it feels like you have to do so much and I still feel that way. There's always something you need, always something that you want, always something that you feel you're, will make your family safer during an emergency, shit hitting the fan, whatever. So make list, keep organized, and keep to a budget. It can be very, very overwhelming. I've watched a lot of videos of people that are just getting into this, and I've got a few PMs recently. And I just wanted to make this quick video. I hope that helps. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would appreciate it. How about a thumbs up, maybe? And more videos to come. Thanks a lot, guys. And as always, if you're not into preparedness, you're preparing to fail. Thanks.